Fresh off a thrilling victory over Michigan State, ASU returned home to Tempe. The Devils opened up Pac-12 play, welcoming Colorado in to Sun Devil Stadium. And the Buffaloes made their presence known early, scoring two touchdowns in the first quarter. And then a dogfight ensued. ASU scored two touchdowns, including a 53-yard throw from Daniels to Brandon Ayuk. Really, we know the type of receivers we have. Uh, him and Frank are both deep threats. They, I feel like nobody in the country could guard them. So, I mean, we just got to give them a chance. The first two in the first half, I overshot them. So, I mean, those are, those are plays that in the game that could have, those are plays that could have changed the game, changed the outcome of the game. The scoring wasn't done there as Colorado would tack on 10 and Benjamin would take in his second touchdown of the day to put the halftime score at 24-21 with Colorado in the lead. The second half saw a bit of a standstill with ASU only scoring 10 more points in the two quarters combined and giving up many opportunities, including a costly interception from Jaden Daniels. With too many missed opportunities, the Devils walked off the field with a 34-31 defeat. Now, even though the score did not go the way of the Sun Devils, dropping their first game of the season to Colorado, Coach Herm Edwards isn't dwelling on the loss. He's preaching learning and getting over the loss quickly. Well, it, it can hurt up till tonight and tomorrow, and then after that, it's got to go because we got to get ready. You know, you can't, you can't dwell on them. You know, and I, I it'll eat me up all the night, and um, I'll be back in here early in the morning watching the tape. And I, I might not go home. Just get to get that tape over with and just be done with it. The road for ASU doesn't get any easier as they go on the road next week to face an undefeated cow. Reporting in Tempe, Jack Lotteray, Cronkite Sports.